what's smashing y'all today we're gonna talk about twitch alerts it basically gets rid of the middleman and twitch finally gives you the ability to put your own alerts using actually twitch so let's talk about it first things first you have to figure out how to get there so i'm on my twitch.tv so you click on your icon you go down and create a dashboard and you'll have this new tab called alerts um, I'll let you read it. It says Twitch alerts introduce an alert box. Basically, it cuts out the middleman so you don't have to use Streamlabs anymore or Stream Elements or whatever bot system you use to have your alerts running across the screen. Uh, the dope part about this, it lets you make you lets you make 10 boxes, right? So you're like, why do they make, let us make 10? So they're, think, they're thinking ahead. They give you a box for like, uh, if you want to make one for Christmas, you can have already a Christmas theme set up. And all you have to do is come down here, copy the URL, and put in your OBS, and now all your alerts will be Christmas. Same thing with any other holiday. If I wanted to make a new one, right? They create an alert box, and I go here and I say, um, my birthday's Halloween, so let's put Halloween. And I could put all my Halloween alerts, all my Halloween alerts, right? So we put all my Halloween alerts, we put it in there, and it's just telling me what I'm making it for. So now if I want to go in here, I can have my own alerts for Halloween and I can have my own alerts for stream. I don't know why I named it follow. It's not really follow. It's the basic uh, original script of what it is. So this is my default alert box. If you come in, it gives you a tutorial. Pay attention to the tutorial. If you can't find your tutorial, it's easy. Just click on the what's new. I'll show you. You'll click on it. I'll show you interactive resubs, goal alerts, hype train alerts, celebration, rated by alerts. It's showing you everything that's new to alerts so you can understand what to mess with. So this one's simple, right? If you're used to messing with any of these like uh, stream labs, stream elements, right? The first thing I'm going to do is, okay, this is my new follow, right? It shows me my general settings, my layout, and everything literally right on top of me. If you look right on top of me, your text to speech, your visual, your celebration, your danger zone. Like it gives you all this stuff, right? And the first thing that made me comfortable I want to do is we're gonna change the visual. Okay. I'm gonna upload my own file. We're gonna go to my downloads and let's go to um where's my follows? This is fun not being organized. Actually you can pick anything. Let's pick my view view. And that's how easy it is, all right? So if you go through the settings and you mess with it, right? It lets it asks you what you want to do. So you go to general settings, you know, variant name, new follow. So this is what I want to happen when I get a new follow on stream. So it goes pew pew and it says Molo just followed you, right? Any new follows to your channel, you search, you put the duration, how long you want it to be, which I think is pretty dope. You can choose if you get to fade in or fade out and how long you want the animations to be when they do fade in and fade out, which I think is pretty awesome. Um, you can even click on here on layout. It asks you how you want it. So if you want to switch the alert like that, look, you just push it to the side. If you want the name to go first and then the alert, like Twitch has made it so super simple and easy. That if Twitch is your main platform, there's no reason why you're not using this. There's no reason at all. And they give you all the customization here. I could change my background color. I could change the padding. I could have rounded quarters. I could have a drop shadow. Uh, you change text to speech, you know, blank just followed. So I could be like uh, blank just, you know me, I always use smash for everything, right? And then I put just smash that follow and change it to button, right? Bangers. And now it pops up like that. That's kind of ugly, but we we'll do it like that. Molo, just smash that subscribe button or that follow button. Sorry, I'm on YouTube. I'm used to subscribe. But on Twitch, they smash that follow button. So it's pretty dope. You don't have to just mess with it. Yes, I'm covering a little bit. Look, I even moved myself for you. I'm covering a little bit. But here's all the options, the drop shadow, text to speech, the upload, your image library, your scale. If I want to pick a sound, I have sounds. So if I pick a sound, I go with my sounds. And let's go to smash, right? And I actually think about Twitch is that you have to understand that it will run it to its database to see if there's any copyright infringement. So if you're using a skit or alert sound or something that might get you copyrighted, just be aware because they do they do throw it through their system now. 
And seeing it says files must comply with Twitch community guidelines. It must not violate any third party rights. Can't violate any third party rights. Uploaded files will be scanned for copyrighted audio. Please review the terms of service, music guidelines, and frequently asked questions. So there, it has it there for you already. You go on our celebrations, add celebration animation, and jazz up your alerts. So you could come in here, you could put like fireworks or flamethrower or light. That's dope. Hold on. I'm trying to see how it pops up. Send test alerts to see an accurate scale of separation. Hit the preview button to see animations. Where's the preview? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, we're going to save changes there. Now, danger zone. They even give you a danger zone. Test these actions. These actions cannot be done. Undone. Delete variant. Oh, okay. So they're just putting a warning there. Like, if you touch this, this is a danger zone. If you come in here, you can delete your whole animation. And it's dope because in this single little screen, right? If you go preview alert. You got my little emotes running around. And you can change it. So that's a flamethrower, right? So if I go fireworks... It changes to the fireworks. If I change rain, it changes into rain. Let's test it again. Look, that's dope. That's so dope. It is all in Twitch. Like Twitch just went super, super ham. And you can change how big they are. Look how extreme these are. Look how dope they are. They're so cool. They're so cool. They're so cool. And you know, and to be honest, it's just repeating the steps. Now here's dope because it gives you three variants, you know, one for a prime subscription, one for a resub, and one for a new sub. So if this is someone's first time ever subbing to you and you want to make that grand gesture, you can set up a notification for that first time someone subs to you. You can have it for the resub, you can have it for the prime sub. You look down here, gifted subs. You can change everything. You can change everything you want, literally. You cheers, how much cheers do you want to post before your notifications go off? So say you want five cents, ten cents, you know. Uh, stuff like that. Here's the raids, you know, uh, uh, charity. So when you do charity donations, they already have an alert box here for it already set up that you just have to set up and it'll work. It lets you touch everything that you want in Twitch. Hype trains. Look at this. Goals. You can put your goals down here. You know, any goal that you want to start and if any goal that you want to reach. And this is only one tab. This is only one preview. And yet everything is literally right here in the palm of your hands. Literally, there's not much for me to do. All I had to do is show you how to access it. All I had to do is show you how to change your logo and your text and your font, which is everything here on the right side. You know, you know, say alert text. You can say it. Brian UK. Do we want Brian from the UK to say it, or we want? You know, I I kind of like Australia a little bit. Let's. Just smash that follow button. Yo, look at it. Look, look how dope that is. Look how dope. <laughs> I mean, it's simple and they're working on it and they're improving it all the time. And if you come here, you can pick the color. I'm a red guy. Everyone knows it. It's not a secret. My favorite color. You know, you can pick your font. You can go through everything. Everything that you need to know is right here. Literally, everything you need to know is right here. So, like, you can pick out whatever font you want. Look, look. So, if you want the Halloween theme, go with the Creepster. You know, it's it's so much potential here. And I just want to cover it quickly on our What's Smashing uh, web show. Because I know new things can be intimidating. I know you can see something new. And I know something could pop up to you for the first time ever. And it's overwhelming. I message Stream Elements. I message Stream Labs. And when I first opened this Twitch alert, it was a little bit overwhelming. You know, because I'm so used to things being organized a certain way that when I got to mess with it, it was like, okay, what am I doing? But after you get to know it a little bit and you go through it and you mess with it, you get to have an understanding. And when you look at it, it's so cool because like, this is something they're implementing themselves. Like I could save changes, right? I go back to home alerts and I could work on the Halloween one. And, and it could be completely different. So if I click on follows here, if I want to change what my follow is here, just upload a different file. Just upload a different file. Go to my downloads. Sorry, my GI bills up there. I go to my downloads and say I had something like my money one, right? Or my let's go. I wanted my let's go for when someone follows me instead of the pew pew, you know? And then we could preview. And then it has my let's go. And now if I want to change it, all you have to do is save the URL. 
that's it they save changes now that one has a different one and that one has a different one and then you just click here copy browser source right and then you add it to your obs you click on the plus sign in your obs on your scenes i mean on your sources you put um add um a browser source and then you put it in and that's literally how easy it is literally how easy it is and you know I know a lot of things can be scary, but once you mess with this, once you set it up, once you get used to it, you're going to kill it. You're going to crush it. Just don't let the first initial aspect of looking at it or watching it intimidate you. Don't let it get you scared. Don't let it scare you off. Okay. Uh, just work on your Twitch. They're, they're doing this for you. You know, I haven't streamed. Look, if you go to my profile on Twitch, if we check it out, if I'm being completely honest, right? If we go to my profile on Twitch and we talk about it. Look, it says, it doesn't even say the last time. I, check out this multiverse stream from last month. I haven't even streamed in a month. But this is content for you guys. If you're watching the What Smash Your Web Show, if you haven't yet, please smash that subscribe button. Um, I do this for content creators. I, I haven't streamed on Twitch in over a month. I shouldn't even really care about the alert box because I'm not sure if I'm going to continue to stream on Twitch. But this is for y'all. This is for the people that want to make the content. This is for the people that want to improve their stream. And this is something that's actually already accessible to you on your Twitch. All you have to do is click on the tab, mess with your alerts. If you have your emotes, if you have your sounds, if you have your pictures, within seconds, you'll have it set up. So if you have all this stuff and you feel a little overwhelmed, just watch the video again, go through it. Um, if you haven't yet, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. If you're watching the What's Smashing Web Show. We come out every Friday, 9 o'clock Eastern, exclusively on YouTube. I'm just a content creator trying to help other content creators. Um, as always, as always, as always, please don't forget to please have a smashing day. All right. And I appreciate y'all. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Yeah. I'm out. Peace.